Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I want to take a look at something called use posable symmetry here in ZBrush. Uh, how does that work and what does that mean? So if you are new to ZBrush, there's a, an important concept to understand. If your geometry is completely symmetrical, for this example, I just grabbed this dog and uh, honestly, this is still loaded from my previous video. Uh, you can watch that. Uh, where you can automatically rig and, and animate this character but it's just this dog right here from the light box right so what i want to show in this example or in this video is the concept of uh, the fact that if you change the symmetry of this character topologically right now he's completely symmetrical you can see that the left side and the right side are identical so if i for example jump into my brushes and let's just grab this uh, anchor, which is a relatively new brush. Um, if you don't have the 2024 version, you might not have the anchor brush, but um, you can use just masking to move things around. But in this example, what I wanna do is I just wanna change the actual pose of the character without changing his topology, right? So for example, I'll take this leg here and I'll just move it up. And maybe I can move it, you know, do something like this. And let's say I want to, just pose them in some something else. Maybe I want to take uh, this side and um, I'm just going to move this leg back a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm just uh, literally breaking the pose, but I'm maintaining the same topology. Uh, another thing I could do is maybe come to the front and, you know, maybe I can do something like this to his head, maybe bring it down. But you can clearly see it's no longer symmetrical, right? And let's just keep going, right? I'm going to take his uh, back leg here and just. Uh, let's just do something like this and maybe take this leg here and you know do something like that all right cool so i successfully clearly broke the uh, symmetry uh, pose for this mesh all right so now think of a scenario let's say you're sculpting something that is topologically symmetrical but the pose is completely asymmetrical it's unique it's not uh, in any type of symmetry maybe it's a spider-man flying through the air right and there's no uh, symmetry in his pose whatsoever. So, but let's say you're still sculpting on him. You still want to make changes, right? So if you turn on your uh, symmetry, let me just uh, get, jump out of the anchor brush. If I turn on my uh, symmetry, you can see that if I attempt to find the symmetrical points on this character, the symmetry is, is going to be broken, right? Clearly, because the pose is different. So I can't, for example, fix his ears easily because the symmetry is out of whack. So if you go under transform, there is something called use posable symmetry. And what does that mean? So use posable symmetry means ZBrush is going to look at the topology of your character and ignore the actual physical pose, which is fantastic if you're still sculpting something that is, again, out of symmetry. So for this example, um, I have my transform dragged over here. I'm going to say use posable symmetry. I'm just going to click on it. And now with the active symmetry activated, you can see that ZBrush can now uh, follow my topology beautifully and perfectly. So it can see the legs. It can even do the ears. Let's say I want to, maybe I want to change the ears a little bit. So I can grab my move and I can very carefully change this and maintain my uh, symmetrical sculpting uh, ability, right? So this is super powerful, uh, once again, if you are uh, doing something that is not uh, symmetrical. Well, as long as you maintain your topology, uh, you are golden uh, to create awesome, unique, dynamic uh, poses with your uh, character. All right, so maybe you will find this helpful and uh, have fun sculpting and I'll see you guys in our next video.